Excuse me. Paddy. It's time to get washed off, please. My mum had taken him for a walk and then she came back in the house to do something. <laughs> and he was just sat in the plant pot, but like perfectly curled up. From that moment, he thinks that plant pot was made for him, basically. He will literally dig it to make the exact right place for him to sit. <laughs> and then he will rest his head on the edge of the plant pot and just chill. But even from when he was a younger puppy, he was just cheeky to begin with, really. As a puppy, he was very boisterous. <laughs> Any attention he can get, good or bad, he just wants it. And then by day three, he was like stealing slippers. Paddy, please give me Auntie Pearl's bag. I quickly realised I can't leave anything around. Like, I literally, nothing was safe. My boy. So he then started to combine the two. He would steal like a shoe or a welly, a magazine, or anything he could get and he would run around the garden and he'd basically retreat to his plant pot with the stolen object. Ready, fetch him. He sometimes drags things and leaves them in his plant pot, like his plant pot is his little home. He's so energetic and confident. But the plant pot is like his chill then place which is a nice contrast to the other side of his personality. Because he's half Golden Retriever and half Labrador, I think the Labrador in him gives him that bit of an edge, like more of his sassy side. You can't even be trusted to go out for a wee, can you? You just let yourself down. But he does have that softer, like more loving side. Since he was a puppy, Paddy literally wanted to be the star of the show. So he was used to being the centre of attention. And I think that just brought his personality out more. Paddy. When Paddy's around, if it's just me and him, I could never feel lonely. He's definitely enriched my life a lot. He brings so much fun and laughter. <laughs> There's just basically never, never a dull day with Paddy. It's time to watch more.